you're listening to the Academy podcast, the podcast for people who can but don't know how. This is where you get actionable steps to turn vague dreams into blissful realities. And I'm your host, Omoshala Victoria Wallaby. So let's get started. Are you at the verge of quitting your online business? Wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, hear this. If you have been struggling to attract clients, I totally understand how that must feel. I was also at the verge of quitting as well because I just felt everything I was doing was making no sense, attracting no clients, and I was so broke and such in a state of despair. But fortunately, I cracked the code. I got the code and I'm about to hand it to you for free. So if you've been struggling to attract clients into your business and you're just at the verge of giving it all up, try this first. Head on over to learn.icandemy.org where I share with you how to make your first $10,000 online as a brand new coach, even if you have no social media following. Yes no huge email list and no raving testimonials yet. Head on over to see how you can create a powerful system that works to attract clients and leads for you on demand. Head on over to learn.icandemy.org to get started. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of the Academy Podcast. How are you doing? How was your week? Let me know. Head on over to www.icandemy.org to send me a voice message. I love to hear from you. Now, on today's episode, I'm going to be discussing getting unstuck. Yeah, because sometimes in life, you see that you really want something. You know what you want, but you feel stuck. You feel like that thing is so far from your reach, right? So why does that happen? What is going on when we know what we want, but we just cannot bring ourselves to going out and getting that exact thing that we want? The foundation of this feeling of stuckness or feeling stuck is the fact that we human beings, right, are constantly moving towards pleasure and away from pain. It is a natural survival instinct. It means that every single time you experience pleasure, right, our subconscious mind goes into overdrive and it starts to search like, why is Victoria excited today? What is making her happy today? It starts to look for the reason why and then it stores that information. The same way when I feel pain, when I feel sad, my subconscious mind does the exact same thing. It goes into overdrive. Why does she feel sad? Why does she feel pain right now? And it looks for the source of that feeling and it stores it as well. So when, you, when, we, when we experience any pain, either physical or emotional, our mind starts to search even harder and it latches on to the cause that it can find. And it does everything possible to stop us from experiencing that kind of pain again. So our brain is hardwired to constantly move us away from pain towards pleasure. And it will do more for you to avoid pain than to find us pleasure, right? That is how we survive, right? So there's nothing wrong with you. It is just a natural reaction. However, this natural reaction can work against us if we do not have control over it. What do I mean by that? Let's say, for example, you want a promotion at work, right? You know you've worked hard, you deserve that promotion, and you want a promotion at work, but it's not coming. Now, something inside of you wants you to go speak to your boss about it. So the pleasure is you want the promotion, but the pain is having to go speak to your boss about it because you don't want that you, you don't want that conversation, right? It's awkward. Then we get stuck because now the brain is confused. You want the promotion. That's the pleasure. You see yourself, how joyful you will be, which you should never be joy. You should never attach your joy to anything. But this, for the sake of this analogy, you already see how happy or you see yourself in that promotion. You see yourself in that position. You already know what it's going to do for you, right? But you're here. You're stuck. You don't know how to move forward. Your boss is the, is the middleman between you and that promotion that you want. And you have to go have this conversation about it, but you get stuck because you want the promotion, but you don't want to talk to your boss about it. Now the brain is like, okay, I don't know what to do. 
and it just goes limbo and then we get stuck. Okay, family, let's face it. We've all felt pain. We've suffered the losses. You know what it's like to want something so bad, but not see a part to its accomplishment. The question, however, is, do you know how to pick yourself up and move on despite what has happened? This is what I share with you inside of my new book, Good Medicine for the Crushed Spirit, a practical guide to helping you find purpose when adversity strikes. Inside this book, you will find personal stories, relatable biblical tales, and anecdotes that prove you are never alone in your despair. I will inspire you to turn pain, discomfort, disappointment, or setbacks into something positive that works for you. So if you're ready to change your life in meaningful and purposeful ways, get your copy of this book today and let the transformation begin. So that is the essence, that is the main reason why we feel that feeling of stuckness. Now, how do we move forward? How do we get unstuck? Number one, we have to learn to stop being afraid of rejection. Rejection is not rejecting you, okay? I remember my son as a baby I used to have really bad hay fever, really, really bad hay fever, right? And his eyes would be itchy. Just at once it's, it's a windy day, his eyes would be so itchy, watery, swollen, right? So because of that, I always want to apply some eye drops for him before he goes out. But getting the eye drops to his eyes was a whole nother mission. He would run around. He, would, he, doesn't, he doesn't like the feeling of getting the eye drops in the eyes. But he needs it because when he goes out, it limits the effects of the pollen on his body. So I would chase him all around the house trying to get him to stay still so I can administer the eye drops for him. But he wouldn't. And at first, it used to make me so frustrated. I used to feel so bad because as a mom, I really want him to feel better. I really want him to get better, but he would run around the house and I'll be frustrated. So I just left him alone. Like, I'll just leave him. But guess what happens? When he goes out to ride his bike and this eye starts to itch, he will be the one looking for me like, mom, mom, my eyes, my eyes, can I have my eye drops now? Are you seeing that rejection is really not about you? It's about the other person. They may not just be ready, okay? So you should never ever feel that the rejection is about you. So the, one of the major reasons why we get stuck is we are afraid of rejection, right? So we get stuck. In this analogy I just gave you with my son, most times just the thought of, okay, let me go give him his eye drops now. When I start to associate the pain of having to chase him around and trying to hold him down and him crying, and I just get stuck. Like, I just don't want to do it even though I know that it is highly beneficial for him and for me because I worry less when he doesn't have those reactions, right? So one of the ways to get unstuck is to, number one, banish the fear of rejection because that is where, that is the number one trigger of getting unstuck because in the first example that I gave you, when you want the promotion and you want to go speak to your boss about it, there is that fear of rejection. What if your boss says no? What if your boss says you're ridiculous? How can you even think like that, Right? And that's what keeps us stuck. So number one, banish the fear of rejection. Number two, be okay with taking risk. Be okay with taking risk. If you fail, you learn. Failure is learning. It is not the end of the road. A, a, a road bump or a speed bump does not mean stop all the time. It just means go a little slower. Try it a different way. Go around it. So getting another trigger where we get stuck is we're afraid to fail. In the case that in this example I gave you about the analogy, sometimes when you think, okay, I really want the promotion, then some, another thought just comes in and says, oh, what if I fail at it? What if I'm not a good boss? What if, you know, if this what ifs cloud our minds, but it's okay. If you fail at it, good. You know what not to do next time, right? So fear of failure is the second reason why we get stuck. And we need to banish that completely, okay? Because at the end of the day, rejection and failure is really not about us. It's just an information. It is, it is communicating something to us. It does not diminish our person or our power. It's just communicating something to us. And that is what I want you to start to see whenever you look at, whenever you feel stuck, identify, okay, I'm afraid of being rejected. 
or I'm afraid of failing. Those two reasons are the very are the most common when we feel stuck and cannot move forward. Now, speaking of feeling stuck, if you feel stuck and cannot move forward, we're here to help you. Head on over to mogul.icandemy.org to access your free training that will show you step by step how to get unstuck. Okay? Thank you so much for listening to this episode. And as always, keep on shining. This episode is sponsored by our very own Mogul Mindset Training. Are you ready to embrace new experiences, see opportunities where you thought there was none, and totally surprise yourself? Because you can by unleashing the power of your mind. Mogul Mindset System is a five-step system that helps you retrain your mind to work with you and not against you. So you can awaken your inner giant, 10x your impact, your income, and become truly unstoppable. The truth is, you, my friend, have a superpower, your creative genius. And I'm here to make that power multiply many fold so you can get past fear, self-doubt, and finally start working and thriving in your life and business. Ready to unleash your superpowers? I thought you would. Head over to mogul.icandemy.org. That's M-O-G-U-L dot I-C-A-N-D-E-M-Y dot O-R-G to learn more. So there you have it. Thank you so much for listening. And for more content like this, follow us on our social media handles. On Facebook, it's at iCandemy, the Facebook page. On Instagram, it's at iCandemy. Or come say hello over on my personal page. On Instagram, it's at Omoshala Speaks. On Facebook, it's Victoria Wallaby. Feel free to reach out, introduce yourself, say hello. I love meeting you. And if you have any stories that you feel will inspire another woman to action. I want to hear from you. I really do. I love hearing from you. Send me an email to hello at icandemy.org. So it's hello at I-C-A-N-D-E-M-Y dot O-R-G.